Take a look at this. This sludge is taking over the gateway to Little Italy. Residents tell us the Mayfield Road Bridge underpass isn't just an eyesore, it's dangerous. And a transportation engineer tells News Channel 5 he agrees. Megan Hickey joins us live from the bridge, a very busy thoroughfare between Little Italy and University Circle. Megan, what is that stuff everyone's talking about? Well, that's the problem. Neighborhood groups tell me they don't know what it is, but it appears to be seeping down from the railroad bridge above. Two bustling neighborhoods, University Circle and Little Italy, are connected by a mucky mess. The barrier between our two neighborhoods is most definitely this bridge. This tunnel was just cleaned on Thursday, but the sludge is already creeping back. Someone's going to break their neck. Watch as a train bounces overhead and mucky water starts to pour out. It shows the whole problem. The train's going by, the track's going up and down, bouncing, and the water's coming down the wall. So, I mean, I guess that's evidence. A Cleveland state engineer reviewed Channel 5's footage of the bridge and said the water could lead to dangerous deterioration of concrete and steel. University Circle Inc. tells me they've also received complaints about concrete and other materials falling on cars and pedestrians. What comes from above is sludge, you know, loose rock material, spalling concrete. All causing for a problem below. RTA's brand new station sits at the end of the underpass and has increased foot traffic as a result. RTA tells me they're working with both neighborhood groups and have proposed new renovations to improve lighting and drainage. But the railroads have yet to sign off. And University Circle Inc. tells me they can't even get a hold of CSX. CSX tells me they've received RTA's proposal, but they are still conducting, quote, a detailed review. We just want a hearing and we want a fix and we want them to participate. Participate financially in a permanent fix that bridges neighborhoods and doesn't divide them. Now, CSX tells me they need to make sure that those proposed changes don't interfere with any of their own maintenance or inspection processes. They could not give me a timeline. Meanwhile, residents here fear that the problem will only get worse as this winter weather approaches. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.